Hello everyone. Welcome to Nursing Lectures. This video uh, is an English version of drug doses calculation practice question part 2. So uh, first of all before heading towards the video I have uh, listed all of the questions of today's video in uh, the description box so that you can practice them before uh, watching this video. So go to the description box for the question. Now heading towards the question. Our first question is the primary healthcare provider prescribes lidocaine at 2 mg per minute. The medication label reads lidocaine 1 gram in 500 ml of 0.9% saline. How many ml per hour will be administered to the client? Fill in the blank. So this type of question will be asked in the NPLEX examination. Now, here what we need to know is uh, the question has been has asked you, uh, you need to find ml per hour. Okay, so uh, uh, you are sure that which formula should we uh, which uh, which formula should we use for this type of question? Okay, so we need to uh, use dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity formula okay so you need to be sure which formula should be used in which type of question okay now you are sure that uh, you will use that formula but uh, you have to look after the units too as the prescribed dose of lidocaine is 2 mg per minute but the medication level in medication level it has been given 1 gram in 500 ml okay so the units are different it is uh, the prescribed dose is in mg form and in the uh, dose in hand um, the unit is in gram form okay so you need to uh, be careful here as you need to convert mg into gram first thing and another one is it has been uh, uh, said that uh, said that lidocaine to administer at 2 mg per minute but the question has asked uh, to find out ml per hour in hour form okay so we need to uh, first determine the hourly doses okay so how how can we do this as uh, in one minute uh, the lidocaine is prescribed 2 mg right so in one hour uh, it will be 2 mg into 60 minutes as 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes right so in 1 minute we will give 2 mg so in 60 minutes we will give 120 mg or 120 milligrams of lidocaine okay so the first thing is we need to determine the hourly doses as it has been given in minutes so uh, the next one is convert the milligrams to grams okay um, as a prescribed dose in, dose is in gram in mg form but the uh, label but it has been labeled in gram form right so we need to convert milligram to gram now while converting milligram to gram we will divide 120 milligram by 1000 as we already have determine the hourly doses now our new um, dose ordered is 120 okay as uh, we convert we uh, convert it in hourly doses so 120 milligram will be divided by 1000 so that we can get in gram okay so uh, it will become 0 0.12 gram now the formula is Dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity or volume. Okay, uh, so many of you uh, can use volume also. Okay, in many books it has been written volume too. So dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity means dose ordered is 0 0.12. Okay, we already got this. And now dose in hand is 1 gram and volume or quantity is 500 ml okay. now 
can get 60 ml per hour so per hour we will administer 60 ml of lidocaine okay so our answer will be 60 next question the nurse is caring for a client receiving a continuous infusion of heparin the level reaches 25,000 units of heparin in 500 ml of dextrose 5% in water G5W. The client is receiving 1,150 units per hour. How many milliliters did the client receive in 6 hours if filling the blank? Okay. Here, um, it has been given the dose in hand and dose ordered by the physician. So, we need to find out uh ml in ml that the client received in six hours shift okay so here we have cut the formula goes ordered by dose in hand into quantity as we know that uh, this formula um, will be used in this type of question right so dose ordered is our uh okay client is receiving 1150 okay this will be our dose order okay so as it has been receiving 1150 so it will be our dose order and dose in hand means that that uh, the leveling in medication has been written 25,000 units of heparin so it will be dose in hand 25,000 will be dose in hand and quantity or volume will be 500 and while convertible calculating we will get 23 ml per hour but the question have, but in question it has been asked to find out milliliters that the client received in 6 hours shift so in 1 hour uh, the client is receiving 23 ml of heparin right now in 6 hours the patient will receive 6 into 23 means while calculating we will receive 138 ml okay so during our six hour shift the client will receive 130 ml in total so our answer will be 138 now next question is the primary healthcare provider prescribes azithromycin 500 mg daily for a client with sepsis the medication label reads 500 mg of azithromycin mixed into 50 ml of 0.9% saline. The drop factor is 10 GTTS per ml and it is to be infused over 60 minutes. The nurse sets the flow rate at how many drops per minute? Round your answer to the nearest whole number fill in the blank. So this question is a bit confusing. Okay, This uh, question is made to confuse you guys as in this question it has been given the prescribed dose and dose in hand and also it has given the volume or quantity right so we will be confused whether to use uh dose ordered by dose in dose in hand into quantity formula or as it has also been given drop factor and uh, uh time right so drop factor time and also volume so we will be also be can also be confused to use the formula of volume divided by time into drop factor so we will be confused between these two formula so we need to look after the question very carefully so you need to read the whole question okay so the uh, whole question so the main focus will be here in this question the nurse sets the flow rate at how many drops per minute here it has been asked uh, to find out drops per minute right so in this type of question we will be always using volume divided by time into drop factor formula okay um, so as it has been asked here if it has been uh, if in this question it has been asked to know, uh, find out uh, ml per hour then we will be using dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity formula okay 
but in this portion we will be using volume divided by time into drop factor formula so uh, we already know that in volume volume should be always in ml time should be always in, be in minute and drop factor is always in gtps or ml now here volume is 250 ml okay 250 ml of 0.9% saline volume is already in ml form so 250 ml and time it has been asked to infuse over 60 minutes okay so this will be our time 60 minutes and our drop factor is 10 gtts for ml so in this way we can calculate and we got 41.67 gtts so while rounding the nearest whole number we will get 42 gtts so our answer will be 42 okay so this question is quite confusing but uh, you need to be smart while um, answering this type of question now the next one is the primary healthcare provider prescribe prescribes safety near 20 mg per kg in divided doses every six hours the infant weighs 15.4 lbs uh, how many milligrams would the nurse administer per those fill in the blank okay now um, here it has been said to find out milligram uh, milligram of safety near that the nurse need to administer per dose now uh, we know the formula that we will be using weight into dose ordered formula right as we already have has pract had practiced in previous video that we will be using in this type of question we will be using weight into dose ordered formula and we also know that the weight will always be in kg form okay and the prescribed dose is also in kg so 20 mg per kg but here in the question it has been said the infant weight is 15.4 lbs that means the infant weight is given in pound so we need to convert pound into kg first okay so while converting pound into kg we will divide uh, 15.4 divided by 2.2 and we will get 7 kg okay so after uh, finding after converting the client's weight uh, into kg now we will use the formula uh, prescribed dose into client's weight and the prescribed dose is 20 mg into 7 kg is equals to 140 mg so this was easy right but also it has been said that uh, the physician has or the primary healthcare provider has prescribed the safety near 20 mg per kg in divided doses every six hours okay so you need to focus here too because it has been said to give uh, this medicine in every six hours this dose in every six hours so you need to know that in 24 hours every six hours will occur four times right so uh, in every six hours we need to divide uh, this 140 mg uh, we need to give this 140 mg in total uh, in uh, in total at 24 hours okay so we cannot give this 140 mg at uh, only in only at once okay only at once we cannot give 140 mg so we need to give this uh, 140 mg in divided doses that is six hourly so six 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 it will repeat four times so in 24 hours we will give four times okay in six hours apart so we need to divide 140 mg by four so that we can get uh, the dose that we need to give in every six hour so by dividing we will get 35 mg so our answer will be 35 okay so you need to focus in every statement of the question 
okay so that uh, your answer will not be incorrect okay so you need to focus these two because it has been given uh, divided doses every six hours okay so this question was also a bit confusing so you need to focus in this type of question too now the last question the nurse is calculating intake for a client the client received 200 ml intravenous antibiotic two eight ounce cups of ice one eight ounce cup of tea three eight ounce cups of juice the nurse uh, should calculate the client's total intake as how many ml fill in the blank so this question is asked to uh, calculate the intake of a client so uh, uh, like in previous video i already uh, have explained that one cup is equals to eight ounces and eight ounces here in one ounce is equals to approximately 30 ml so eight ounce is equals to 30 into 8 means approximately 240 ml so you need to know one cup is equals to always uh, approximately 240 ml right now while uh, calculating the first intake is the client received 200 ml intravenous antibiotic so 100 ml into 2 we need to uh, multiply as it has been given two two times 100 ml iv antibiotic so 2 into 100 means 200 ml total and the next one is 2 8 ounce cups of ice 8 ounce means 2 cup of ice in total right so 2 cup of ice so 1 cup is equals to 240 ml but here it has here we uh, it has been written 200, 240 ml so why is it as when the ice melts and when determining the total ml of a cup of ice the nurse should divide the volume by half since the ice melts right uh, so the ice melts and while it melts the uh, it uh, becomes half cup, half of the cup in total okay so one cup uh, uh, in one cup when the ice melts in one cup it will be 120 ml so in two cup it will be 120 into 2 means 240 ml in total so two cup of ice is equals to 240 ml okay and now one cup of tea is equals to 240 ml one eight ounce cup of tea means one cup of tea okay so one cup of tea means 240 ml and three eight ounce cup of juice means three cup of juice that means three cup of juice means 240 into three means 720 ml okay so now in total we will get 1400 ml and our answer will be 1400 ml so in this way you can calculate so you need to be careful while calculating uh, while calculating the intake of ice Okay, as the ice melts and it becomes half okay uh, so you need to be careful here so in this way uh, you can calculate the index so uh, this much for today so keep updated for the uh, for more questions of drug doses calculation which will be very very helpful in the examination thank you for today